Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title below, this is going to be a very much anticipated Dessa's Homespun Sense haul. Now, I filmed my first Dessa's haul a few months ago, which was my first time ever ordering from her. And let me tell you, I am blown away. Now, granted, I haven't melted everything but my order, but I did melt a good bit of stuff. And let me tell you, performance-wise, her wax doesn't need a cure time because it's paraffin. The just strength, the performance, the fragrances, and the customer service is out of this world. When you order from a pre-order, like from Dessa's, which was towards the end of July, I believe, she literally will tell you everything. She will post every Sunday pictures, updates, tell you what she's pouring, what she has left to pour, photos, just so much info, you really feel like your money being spent is worth it because she updates you so much during the process. And that to me is huge. Speaking of huge, I went very huge. And also I just printed the list of the scents and it's Saturday, July 23rd. So July, the end of July, end of August, mid-September. So about two months so really not a long time at all to wait and honestly her wax is so worth it so i did go pretty crazy i got what her she calls her big bars which are like most people are familiar with they have four across and one two three four five six seven so there's 28 little squares in these bars i ordered her builder bars which you can actually custom and choose two different fragrances and then i ordered some of her loaves her loaves, you guys, I've never seen a shape like this. They're very long and short, but these are chunks. So you can choose three different scents. The first is the overpour, and then the uh, the two below it are the um, chunks. So I definitely went a little crazy on her wax, and I could not be happier. I do have the scent list here for reference because you do also get a nice bag of samples. And it says, I have too many wax melts, said no one ever. So inside, there's some info. The first on a little piece of construction paper says, thank you, Drew. I hope you enjoy Dessa. So super cute. I always love a nice handwritten note. And then we have Dessa's Homespun Sense, made in 2014. And a little bit about her business and her website. Perfect. And then last, it says, thank you for supporting my small business. Every order is handcrafted and made with love. And it's popped right here. And then I've talked about before, but she does include some info about how to melt her wax and what it is, melt, enjoy, and repeat. So it says about our wax is ready to melt. Extra cure time is optional, but not required. Our wax is soft enough to slice with a butter knife or a wax cutter. Slice off, slice off as little or as much as preferred. Personal preference is about 0.7 to 0.8 ounces per use. Wax melters and warmers matter and may impact your melting experience. And it talks about the different warmers that work best with her wax. So I love that she includes some little info and she included a bag full of samples. I got one, two, three, four, five, six samples. So thank you so much, Dessa. The first one that I have is in Sleepy Hollow. So I'm going to pull up the scent notes right here while I am looking for that sample. And this is a house blend, which I also love that she includes that a lot of these are house blends. So she creates these blends herself, so you won't find them from every vendor, which is just awesome. Sleepy Hollow is Palo Santo, piles of fresh, earthy fall leaves and smoked vanilla woods. So you definitely get the Palo Santo. I love her Palo. It's a really cute little, one of those little mini bunt shapes. And we have gray here and orange, gray and green. Super fun, very Halloween-like. Definitely get the Palo Santo and the Smoked Vanilla Woods. It's like a very woodsy vanilla. I don't get any of the uh, fall leaves, but I will say with her wax, especially because it is paraffin, you definitely will pick up more of the notes in time when you melt it. The next is Vanilla Voodoo. And this one is 
Is this voodoo or is it vanilla birch? Fresh white birch, sweet Madagascar vanilla, and warm sandalwood, a Bath and Body Works type. Okay, so, yep, it smells just like Bath and Body Works vanilla birch, which I really enjoy. The creamy, creamy vanilla with that bright birch. Really like that one. Next, we have brimstone and broomsticks. I believe um, Charity and I were talking and she said she left her broomstick at home or sometimes that's how she flies, which I just think is hilarious. I love Charity so much. We joke all the time. All right, this one says, this is a delicious blend of snickerdoodle cookies and hot apple cider. Oh yeah, that's really good. I, get, I definitely get the snickerdoodle, that cinnamon sugar cookie. And then the apple cider just makes it really warm and cozy. Yeah, okay, I really like that one. And I found from my last order, these samples, I do one in a tea light in my bedroom and it literally fills up the whole room the entire day. It's awesome. Next, we have Autumn Bliss Bar right there. And Autumn Bliss Bar says, cookie batter topped with chunks of fresh cranberries, autumn pears, and a drizzle of white chocolate frosting. Been loving pear lately. Ooh, this is pretty. I wonder why I didn't order this one. Cranberry pear and drizzle. This kind of reminds me of those bars from Starbucks at the holidays. It's like those uh, cranberry cream cheese cookie bars. It's kind of what it smells like, just a little red bun. Oh yeah, it's yummy. I like this one. It is a good one. I have so much, this video is gonna be like an hour long probably, but it's okay. Next one is Nutcracker Sweet. And this one says, scan it through my pages. A delicious holiday blend of fresh from the oven gingerbread cookies, buttery sugar cookies, cinnamon rolls, our gingerbread sweet cakes, and sweet vanilla frosting. This is nice. It's a gingerbread scent. I'm not a huge fan of just straight up gingerbread. I like it in blends. Yeah, I'm not getting too much from it. But again, paraffin, it's hard to pick up right away. It's good to melt. But yeah, I'm not getting too much from it other than like a light gingerbread scent. So that's okay though. It's going to go in my sample basket and I will definitely melt it this holiday. And last is white chocolate raspberry truffle. Now I did order this one last time and I really, really enjoyed it. Yep, it smells just like a chocolate truffle, like a raspberry truffle. But again, because it's white chocolate, you don't get that like milky hot cocoa note that you do with a lot of chocolate frosting or um, chocolate fragrances. Oh, I really like this. Yeah, yum. Love raspberry scents, and she has a really, really, really good raspberry. All right, so those are my samples. Let's move on to my builder bars. So again, these are her builder bars. There are these really cute little loaves. I don't want to take them out, but I'll show you. They look just like this. So it's a little loaf, just like that. And you have your overpour, and then you have your chunks. And for this one, I got... Circus Under the Stars and Macintosh Apple. And I did this because her Circus Under the Stars is her circus concession with Palo Santo. And I loved it. It's beautiful. I actually have it on its own here. But I found that I wanted there to be a little bit more Mac Apple to it. So I wanted to try this out. So whenever you slice it, you're going to get equal amounts of both. That's it. It's definitely... You get that circus concession, that like funnel cakey, cotton candy. And then you get the smokiness from the Palo Santo. I feel like I intermingle Palo Santo and Palo Santo. I don't really know exactly what the correct term is, but I say both. This is so good, you guys. Yeah, I definitely get both. And the Mac Apple makes the circus under the stars even more apple, which I love. Next, this is Nicole Perry's blend. She, total credit for this one. And this is Palo Santo and Evergreen and Orange Grove. I thought this would be perfect for the holidays and I know she raves about it. And it's definitely a holiday scent. You get the evergreen, so that really lush green Christmas tree with the orange. 
And I know Orange Grove is a fragrance oil. I actually have it in a sample from last time from her. So you get like the Christmas tree and the orange. And then again, that woodsy smokiness from the Palo. I really, really enjoy this. But I definitely think it will be a good holiday scent. I wouldn't want to melt this all year. Evergreen just is a scent that like in December, I enjoy it. I want to try it. So I figured pick that one up. Next, we have Huckleberry Lane Marshmallow Fireside. I saw someone in the group, I can't remember who, ordered this. And I'm like, yes, I love Huckleberry Lane. I love Huckleberry in general. It just smells like really great jam, like a really warm berry jam. And totally mixed with that marshmallow fireside, it hits home. You get the woodsy, the smoky, smoldering woods of about marshmallow fireside. And then you get that bright, juicy, warm jamminess from the Huckleberry Lane. Oh, that's so pretty. This is going to be so nice in the fall. And like I said, her stuff doesn't eat any cure time. So it's ready to go. And I love that. And then last for the builder bars is pumpkin to talk about beach nights now this one natalie over here on youtube melt with nat and jack she totally has the credit for this one she loves the scent from teddy b's um little pumpkin beach party which is similar it's like a pumpkin cupcake marshmallow and beach nights so when we saw this the pumpkin to talk about it's like a straight up pumpkin no cinnamon i actually ordered it in a bar She's like, I wonder if I blend that with Beach Nights, if it would be similar. And I I have the Little Pumpkin Beach Party too, and I have this. And while they're not exactly the same, they're really, really good. The pumpkin to talk about is just that. You stuck your hand into a pumpkin, and you're holding the pumpkin guts, and you're getting ready to roast it in the oven. You don't smell spice. There's no nutmeg, no cinnamon, just a freshly, like, freshly picked pumpkin almost. And then blended with her beach nights. Oh, this is incredible. It's amazing how you can turn beach nights into a fall or winter fragrance. And this is totally that. I love this. This is so good. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to melt this one. And I believe Natalie thinks the same thing. Like, I think she really likes it too. So excited for that one. Now let's move on to the big loaves. I will start with the two that I did not customize. I just wanted more of after melting them. The first one is Fresh Bread and Jam. And see, it says House Blend underneath because she puts there if it is a house blend. So this is all created from Dessa herself. And this is Crusty Baked Bread and Sweet Strawberry Jam. I talked about before, I love bready scents. I love jammy scents. And this is that. This is a crisp, out of the oven baguette and you break it open and you can smell the crust as you break that yeasty bread open and then you smother it with strawberry jam. This is to die for. I melted it for my last pre-order and I was blown away. I had to pick up more of this. So really excited for the fresh bread and jam. Now this one, this is why samples are so important you guys. Sugared zucchini streusel. Okay, let's talk about this. Zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and cinnamon streusel crumble. When I got this in my haul, I was like, it's okay. I popped this sample in a tea light in my bathroom right when I got the order, or in my bedroom. Went to the bathroom, took a shower, washed my face, did my nighttime routine. I step out of the shower and I'm like, something smells like the best bakery I've ever walked into, and that's this. It blew my mind when I melted this in my bedroom. On cold, it's fine. It's not bad. It smells like a very buttery cross between a coffee cake and a zucchini bread with lots of icing. Like almost if you go to Cinnabon, like you pour all of that delicious like powdered sugar icing on top. And when you melt it, it smells like the coffee cake is being baked right there in your room and loaded with that icing. You have to like sweet scents because when you melt it, the sweetness comes out. But oh boy, I was like, yep, yeah, I need as much as I can get of that for this fall season. The scent is incredible and the color is just amazing. So bright. 
really like that one. The next one, I do not take responsibility for. I saw Kathy, I believe Kathy Lafayette on um, Dessa's Facebook group share that she got this custom loaf last time and I needed to try it. And this is chestnuts and brown sugar, fireflies and Palo Santo. So her chestnuts and brown sugar, that's a single scent oil that I've tried from other vendors. Kirby has that fragrance in vintage chic scents and I love it in a lot of blends. Fireflies is a house blend from Dessa that's like a Palo Santo, nighttime, marshmallow, like crisp cedar wood note. And then of course with Palo, I had to try it. I will take this one out just so you can see. So as you can see, there's the loaf. So it's a brown loaf and then she puts so many chunks in and each one. So the blue are the fireflies. I believe the chunks are the... Palo Santo, and then the brown overpour is chestnuts and brown sugar. This is to die for. This is comfy. This is cozy. This is buttery. This is warm. And then you get the woodsy, outdoorsy fragrance. You get the cedar wood. You get the oak. You get the palo. And then you just amp it up with even more palo with these chunks. Ah. This is incredible. This is going to be on those really chilly fall nights when you open the windows, there's no more AC, you're cuddled under a blanket watching a really good show, and oh, I cannot wait to melt this one. This is a 10 out of 10. I love, love that one. And then the last one that I got as a custom loaf, I get this from so many vendors because I have to try it from everybody. And this is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Cider Lane, and Palo Santo. As you know, love Cider Lane. It's one of my kryptonite scents. It is just the best caramel apple. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, you can't go wrong. And of course, Palo. I'm a Palo boy. I love it. And yeah, wow. Her Pumpkin Pecan Waffles it blows you out of the house. Like, it is so good. And I think... It has to do with her wax formula too, because her wax formula is like butter. It cuts like butter. It just has this beautiful texture and you almost can like smell the butteriness in her scents because it is so rich. So this, the, her wax formula with pumpkin pecan waffles is my personal favorite. None compare, like it's, it's so good. And then blended with the caramel apple of the cider lane and then the woodsiness of the Palo Santo. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10. This is so powerful, so strong. I have this from a couple vendors. This is definitely the best one that I've tried. I had a feeling it would be, and I'm so happy to have a whole loaf of it. All right, for the big bars, so the first one that I have is Bobbin for Apples. Now this one is apple cider donuts, caramel apples, and bourbon butterscotch sauce. I was really excited for this one. And this is decadence. This, you could totally smell the apple donuts and the caramel apples. So you get that like cakey apple cider donut. You get the caramel apple. It's like that really divine, delicious, thick, like over a copper kettle caramel. But then the bourbon butterscotch sauce. Now, I love like bourbon or whiskey notes in wax and the bourbon butterscotch sauce. Let me tell you, you could totally pick that up. I mean, you get all of those elements to it. You get that rich. It is like a rich bourbon butterscotch caramel apple donut. I mean, if there are any more words to describe this, it's just pure decadence. I'm so excited for that one. Speaking of butterscotch, we have Hold My Broom, and this one is Apple Pumpkin Strudel and Bourbon Butterscotch. And this is really good too. So you get the Bourbon Butterscotch still, you get that creamy deep note, but the Apple Pumpkin Strudel comes out more to me in this, and you can truly smell like 50% apple and 50% pumpkin. It's more like a Mac apple, so a really crisp apple, but then you do smell the warmth from the pumpkin. That's another, there's not a bad one in the bunch, guys. So I'm just putting that out there. All right, 
Next, Circus Under the Stars. So I already talked about this one. This is Circus Concession, which is funnel cake, caramelized apple, cotton candy, and a hint of smoldering bonfire, and then mixed with Palo Santo. I love this. Yep, just like my bar. It's amazing. It smells just like Circus Concession with the added smokiness of the Palo. It's a winner. Next is Apple Barn. Now, if this doesn't scream charity, I don't know what does. She has a barn because she lives on a farm and she lives in an apple orchard. So I love this. This is my charity scent. And this is Barnwood, Granny Smith, Macintosh Apples, Oak Barrels, and Fall Leaves. Now, this is incredible. You could truly smell the barn. Like, you can smell the wood barn in this. I've never smelled a scent like this. This truly smells like you're picking apples at the orchard in a barn. And that's it. You get the outdoorsy, ozonic notes from the barn wood. You get, I can't even, you get the apples, you get the wood. So cool. Dessa does such an awesome job. I, I, I can't even describe it. Next, we have Bonfire of the Pumpkin, right? Yep. And this is Toasted Pumpkin, Roasted Marshmallows, and Smoky Firewood. So I love me some smoky scents. And this is very smoky. This is total, total sitting on a campfire. Not on one. Buy one. Please don't sit on a campfire. And like you're roasting marshmallows and pumpkins. Like... Can you imagine like a pumpkin s'mores? Like putting like pumpkin butter on a s'more? I feel like that would be amazing. There's no chocolate in here though. It's more just like a, a toasty marshmallow with like pumpkin butter. Really, really decadent. All of these fall scents are decadent to me. Next one is Ghost Train. And Ghost Train is freshly brewed coffee, warm pumpkin notes, and pumpkin oat milk creamer. I love a pumpkin creamer scent because they just, they smell so good. And this is totally, you, it's crazy. You get the brush brewed coffee and it is truly like fresh coffee. It's a bitter black coffee, which are not always my favorite in wax. However, with the oat milk creamer, and if you guys have had like oat milk lattes before, I don't want to say they taste sour, but there definitely is that like oat milk flavor no matter what syrups or flavor coffee or anything you add to it, you can still taste that like oat milk flavor. And the oat milk is in here. It's like a oat milk pumpkin coffee. It's, it's really crazy how her wax just transforms so well. Next is Chili Autumn Nights. And I was so excited for this. This is flannel type and tart cranberries. And I'm actually melt burning... I have like three quarters of my flannel candle from Bath and Body Works left, and I'm thinking about popping this in my in my warmers with it. I love that flannel candle. I have a shower gel from last year of it too. Yep, and if you haven't smelled flannel, it is much more masculine, but it's like a bergamot masculine. It is citrusy, but it, it's definitely such a warm citrus. And then blended with the tartness of the cranberry, really fun really fun I really like this one I really like them all oh well, I really like them all on cold except this one this is another we reason samples make a difference and this is smoky mountain berries I got this in a sample and it is Fraser fir bayberry and festive holiday berries and vanilla a bestseller now on cold no on warm at first no, it is definitely like a very Christmas tree berry, like walking into Michael's at Christmas, the Fraser fir, the cranberry, like it's very, very bright and like Christmas tree like. However, what lingered in my room when I melted the sample after I really, really liked. So I think during the holidays, this one will be really good melting in my room in like the living room, dining room, kitchen, when I have the Christmas tree up and it is a whole vibe, I cannot wait until I get a new Christmas tree this year. I have these big windows here and I think it's gonna look beautiful just putting a big old Christmas tree. I can't wait. 
Next, we have Autumn Campfire. Now this, I was also blown away with in a sample. And this is pumpkin, apple cider, gingerbread spices, marshmallow, and campfire. You have to like smoky to like this. This is very smoky. This is like embers. Like the embers are literally coming off of the bonfire in the fall time with like all the essences of fall around surrounding you. But it's a very like apple cider fall spice with a lot of campfire. So if you're not a fan of like campfire, you will not like this. But it is very, very woodsy. I think it's awesome though. Next, we're gonna get into some huckleberries. So Huckleberry Lane, I already talked about this one. This is Nana's Homemade Fresh Huckleberry Preserves. Amazing, like warm jam, like a warm homemade berry jam. Really wanted to just have more of that on its own. And then this one, Edge of Midnight. Oh, my Lanta. So this is that Huckleberry Lane and Marshmallow Fireside, which I got blended in a bar, but mixed with Beach Nights. How could you go wrong? You can't. And that's the thing. You can truly smell that Huckleberry Lane, that warm berry jam, and the toasty marshmallow. But then the Beach Nights comes in and is like, Hello, I'm still in the picture too. Can't you smell me? You absolutely can. You can smell a like salty sea air, toasty marshmallow vibe in the background. So happy with that one. Next, we have Haunted Pumpkin Shack. They just keep coming, guys. This is homemade pumpkin pie, pumpkin butter bake, and Palo Santo. Another one I was stoked to try. This gives me the same vibes as my custom, the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Palo Cider Lane, except this is definitely, you can tell there's no caramel in here. So it's like, if you don't want caramel apple with a cider lane, or the Palo Santo and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, I would try this because even though it doesn't have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, it does pumpkin pie and pumpkin butter cake, it still gives you that same like pumpkin cake vibe. Mixed with a palo. It's a definitely really good woodsy pumpkin. I think blending wood and pumpkin is like such a good thing. Haunted Carnival. Now, I, the colors on the, like these bright, vibrant colors I love. This is apple fritters, churros, hot pretzels, and caramel sauce. Yes, it is. This is so good. I had this in a bar last time too. And you really pick up on the pretzel. I love me a pretzel. I say it all the time. Yep, yeah, this is like an apple, apple, apple fritter churro hot pretzel and caramel sauce. It just smells like a pumpkin pretzel or a pumpkin pretzel, an apple pretzel. Like you get that yeasty doughy pretzel and you get a caramel apple. So together it is fall goodness. Super excited for that one. Next is Oh my gourd. I love that. I love that that is like such a cute fall phrase. And it is pumpkin pie, sweet potato casserole, black strap molasses, and toasted marshmallows. <sighs> this smells like sweet potato pie. Like straight up like sweet potato pie, including the marshmallow and the molasses. It's sweet. It's sweet potato, but it's not like over hit you in the face sweet potato. I think this in the fall, in like Thanksgiving, like Thanksgiving week will be a great one. If you like those, um, like sweet potato pie scents, the toasty marshmallows. Next, we have pumpkin caramel confection. Another one that I had in my last order. And this is pumpkin cake loaded with brown sugar, vanilla, gooey caramel sauce, and toasted nuts. Now this smells like a pumpkin cake. Like like a pumpkin coffee cake. No coffee, just like a caramel cinnamon sugar cake. And the pumpkin's really good, like freshly baked pumpkin. This is not a grocery store pumpkin cake. This is like you went homemade and made a homemade pumpkin cake with actual like pumpkin filling. So yummy. Next we have, let's continue the pumpkin train. Pumpkin to talk about. So again, I talked about 
I talked about this one earlier. Creamy pumpkin filling, buttery pie crust. There are no spices in this blend. This is also a house blend. And yeah, it smells like you open a can of pumpkin pie filling. Crazy. I love that. Like, I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't have in wax is like straight up pumpkin, no spice. I know another vendor tried to do it. I can't remember what it was called, but it, it was like lime. It smelled like lime. I'm like, what is that? It should smell like pumpkin. It was like citrusy. It was bizarre. Next, fall foliage. And this one is leaves, dew, crackling firewood, and fresh air. I thought I would try some more like fresh blends out of my comfort zone. And this is really pretty. This is like you open your doors or your windows on a fall day and it's super breezy and there's that crisp chill in the air that you just wear a hoodie. You don't need anything else and you're wearing a hoodie in your house and you feel comfy cozy and the leaves are blowing and you get kind of like the dirt of the leaves, like just filling the air and you know you're in a happy place because it's fall. At least most of us are. Oh, so pretty. I love, love that. It is the essence of outside in the fall. Next is country corn maze. Now this is really interesting. Fresh cornbread baked in a cast iron skillet smothered in apple butter caramel sauce. Right? Is it me or can you actually smell a cast iron skillet? I swear I can actually smell like the skillet that this is being baked in. It is the most authentic cornbread I have ever smelled from a vendor. And it truly smells like that cornbread. It's baked in a cast iron skillet with apple butter. And that is something I love in the fall is apple butter. How many of you guys get apple butter from the store and put it on everything in the fall? I, I don't say I, I have a recipe for it because it's literally, I take a brie wheel, I put apple butter on it, little pecans and put it in the air fryer. That is like the best little snack ever. And that's what this reminds me of. Hold the cheese. But it's like apple butter and toasted pecans. Oh, except with cornbread. It's, it's so delicious. Next is pumpkin churros. We are getting through the wax. Pumpkin pie and cinnamon sugared churros. Now this is one it's good. It's definitely more like red hot cinnamon with the churro, which is okay. I, it's not bad to have those every once in a while. Definitely not a favorite, but you can't win them all. And I definitely think the red hot cinnamon is a lot in here, but I think this will be one that I'll melt in like my open space, my living room, dining room, kitchen area. And I think like when the fall weather is truly here and you can smell all the essences in the air, I think I'll be really happy with it. Next is pumpkin pretzel crunch. I had to do it, right? A doughy buttery pretzel loaded with pumpkin filling and crunchy bits of caramel. My cats are like chasing the fly out in the window. And this is again, a pumpkin pretzel, like truly freshly baked pretzels blended with pumpkins. And there's nothing bad about it. It's so good. It is so, so good. Dessa kills it with the bakery and the pretzel, like kills it. Next, we have Creaky Cauldron. Now I did get this one in my last one and this is Cider Lane, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Hints of Smoldering Bonfire. No, Smoldering Fire Sign. This is so good too. So you get Cider Lane and I think Cider Lane is really heavy in this one, which is okay. I don't mind. I love a good Cider Lane, obviously but blender with the pumpkin pecan waffles and the fireside, the smoky, the warm, the, oh, so good. All I can say is so good, so good, so good, because they're all so good. Next is Cold Barn Mornings, and this one is Bales of Hay, Cedar Wood, Cold Damp Earth and Air. I like this. This is definitely chilly mornings, I assume, at the barn, right? I don't have a barn, but Charity, is this what the barn smells like in the in the fall? I can smell the, like, barn wood. 
like the again I smell that barn wood but it is like the outdoorsiness with the barn wood that sets it apart oh really like that one next we have fall in new england and this one is freshly brewed latte buttery pumpkin caramel sauce and cinnamon streusel i got this one in my last order as well and it's fabulous this is a true like cinnamon coffee which do you remember that trend where people were all adding like cinnamon into their coffee and i was like that's interesting and then i tried it and it's delicious it truly adds just an extra decadent level to coffee like when you add espresso like instant espresso to brownie batter you don't necessarily taste it it just enhances it i find that cinnamon to coffee just enhances the robust flavor of the coffee and then mixed with like the caramel and the pumpkin fall in new england is beautiful and that's where i'd love to live in new england this one is a spoonful of sugar so totally different different out of fall vibe and this is a vanilla ice cream lemon sugar cookie waffle cone and crushed lemon candies and this is like lemon bakery like one of the best lemon bakeries i've ever smelled like truly like lemon pound cake but a really good lemon pound cake like even though i think the starbucks lemon pound cake is pretty phenomenal this is like next level lemon pound cake so really like that that'll be good for when it's like the middle of winter and i do want some more lemon i love a good lemon bakery and last but certainly not least is southern banana pudding when i saw this one on the list i immediately knew i had to get it creamy banana pudding fresh sliced bananas vanilla wafers and whipped cream i love banana bakery so i knew i had to try it especially because it's a house blend and i'll say it again this is the most authentic banana pudding I've smelled. If you've ever gone to New York City, I know there are more locations now. I believe like Magnolia Bakery is known for their banana pudding. I had it once. It was divine, out of this world. This smells just like it. It smells like fresh sliced bananas folded into like the whipped cream with the vanilla wafers. And I couldn't want it any other way. Like most banana scents lean Laffy Taffy. This truly smells like real banana pudding. Oh, I could have ordered a loaf of that, but now I know for next time, I need a loaf of that. That was quite a haul, let me tell you. Now, I don't have any info for Dessa on her next order. I don't know if it's going to be, I believe it's going to be like a Christmas sampler from what she posted on her Facebook group, which I will leave down below. Definitely check out Dessa's. Did you guys order from Dessa's? Please let me know what you love or if there's some like OG scents that I haven't tried yet. Also let me know. Dessa's has definitely slowly crept into my top five spot. I have such great luck with her wax. The turnaround time is great for her pre-orders. She keeps you up to date. I love the performance. I love how easy it is to snap and use. Just checks all the boxes. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube if you're not subscribed. Have an amazing day. Remember, you matter. I love you all so much and make it a better world. Bye, guys.